Hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, man. I want to, again, I want to welcome you guys back to the Conversation 9-8. Been truly excited and happy to be back on here. And I look forward to the conversation we have on tonight, man. I, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope all is well with everyone. Uh, and, you know, you know, thing is good. I'm truly excited myself. Looking forward to this week. Um, as well as, um, yeah, just looking forward to this week coming up. Uh, shout out to uh, my niece, uh, Aurelia. Today is her birthday, so shout out to her. Truly happy for her uh, and all the things that's going on with her. Uh, very proud of her and, and you know, just wanted to say happy happy birthday to her. Um, I'm excited about this conversation. And I think the conversation tonight is going to be a real good one. And uh, I truly appreciate everybody that, that uh, continue to support me and support this platform. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, and um, just wanted to simply say, you know, thank you. I mean, that's all what I can do is just say thank you. Uh, and I hope all is well and I hope everything goes well with everybody. With that being said, man, we're going to go ahead on and, and get on with it. Get on with the conversation tonight. Make sure that you uh, let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, and it's an interactive uh, um, conversation tonight. And Hey, we're going to go ahead on and get, get on with it. But we, we well into February. Uh, again, Nisi, happy uh, birthday to you. And uh, truly, I'm excited uh, for you and happy for you. Uh, but we're going to go ahead on and get started. Uh, tonight is a is a real good night. Um, and, and it's something I was uh, talking with my son uh, earlier today. Um, and, and I've been enjoying our conversations uh, that we've been having lately extremely proud of him uh happy for him and the things that he and the man that he's grown into uh it really it really means the world to me and i just wanted to uh simply uh just let him know that um uh, and you know let him know also that he inspired me um for the topic of tonight so i just wanted to uh uh just let him know give him a shout out on that we're gonna go ahead on and get into it let me know where you guys tuning in from um, and we'll get right on with it. But tonight we're talking about don't waste time trying to see someone other than who they show you they are. And I think one time what, what happens with that is there's nothing wrong with uh, looking for the good in people. I'm a very optimistic person. I'm a person who just by nature I always look for what's good in a person. And I think I will, I will go to my grave like that. But I would say don't waste time. And the reason why I'm saying don't waste time uh, trying to see someone other than what they show you. A lot of times we are trying to see other people the way that we want to see them instead of taking the time to see them for who they showing you they are. Because somebody show you who they are, that's that's who they are. Uh, and and that's just a reality. That right there is a reality for a lot of a lot of people. But what we have to do is we have to be careful not to try to see people other than accepting the reality of who they are as a person and who they showing you they are. Hey, what's going on, Flo? How you doing, man? Thanks for tuning in down there in Florida, down there in Florida. But yeah, we got to be careful with that because I think one, one thing about it is, you know, and like I said, I just said before, there's nothing wrong with looking for the best in people. But I mean, we just have to be realistic and don't don't don't. Put ourselves in a position where we are frustrated uh, and mad because we're expecting somebody to be something that they're not. Because the reality is, the more time you spend with somebody, the more they're going to show you who they really are. And the reality is this: we have to get to a space to where we accept that. We don't have to be accepting of who they're showing you who they are. We don't have to be accepting of their 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 actions towards us, but we need to get to a space to where we get accept the reality of who that person is. And I know it can be frustrating because we can want what's best or we can have good intentions and we can be doing things and we expecting somebody else to reciprocate that back to us. But the reality is sometimes it just won't be that way. And what I mean by don't waste your time, don't sit there and hoping and trying to get somebody because you feel like the more you do, they will uh, they will reciprocate that back to you. No, believe somebody or who they show you that they are. And once you accept that reality, now you can choose to go from that. But you first have to accept it. 
And Flo, you are right. You say accept the reality. Accept the reality. And 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 I know I know this frustrating for some people, but um, you know, it can be hard to accept the reality of of somebody showing you who they are when you expected them to be something different, or you saw something in them, or you expected more of them. But you know, when somebody show you who they are, believe them. And a lot of times we waste time hoping that somebody would get better. We waste years of our life hoping that somebody would change all because we refuse to accept the reality of who they're showing us who they are. And it's not always a bad thing. Sometimes what, what happened with people is people would get upset because they are wanting somebody to be something different or something what they want them to be instead of accepting them for the reality of who they are. And that's why I said it's not always a bad thing, but we have to get to that space to where we accept them for who they are. Do we they showing us who they are instead of us trying to trying to force out for, trying to force them to be something they not accept them for who they are and then you can make a decision from that point. You can make a decision from that point. You can make a decision. <coughs> excuse me. You can make a decision, but you know, once somebody show you who they are, that's when you can make a decision and you accept it. That's when you can make a decision on what you're willing to do with that information, what you're willing to do if it's not somebody that you want to be with, if they're not giving you the things that you may need, if it's something that you're willing to compromise on. Is that something that you're like, no, nah, that's a deal breaker for me? Like, But just accept it for who they are. And a lot of times we get upset at other people because we are mad at them for showing us who they are, but we just didn't want to accept that reality because in our mind, we saw them as one thing or we wanted them to be something else. So we are looking at them through the lens of what we want them to be instead of looking at them and accepting them through the, the, the lens of reality of who they are. And that's why many of us get upset and are mad, but that really falls back on us because we did not accept them for who they, who they are. We didn't do that. And that's on us. They ain't on them. That's on us. And, you know, that right there, it, it is what it is. And I know it can get frustrating, but it, it is what it is. You know, um, <laughs> some of the greatest lessons you're going to learn is everybody that you are there for and the things that you do for other people, that doesn't automatically mean that those people will reciprocate that back to you. And that can happen for a lot of reasons. Right. But a lot of times what happens is we waste time hoping that somebody else will be us. And we got to stop expecting us from other people because some people don't have the capacity to, to reciprocate. Others don't desire to desire to, uh, to do it. And others are unwilling to do it. And some people just don't know. We just we're thinking that we're thinking that because I'm doing this oh they would they would do this for me. But then when we find ourselves in situations where they're put in a position to do it and they don't do it and they willingly don't do it, stop trying to uh, uh, waste time to try to see them as someone that will instead of accepting them for who they are. And once you accept them for who they are, wh what you would do then is you'll free yourself from 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 being upset by unmet expectations. You will. Uh, Flo, uh, hey, Miss Geraldine, how you doing? No doubt. Yeah, uh, Flo. You said you'll know, you'll know when to accept the reality when when they stand firm on what they've shown you. Yes, yes, they will stand firm, and you can get mad all you want to, but they will stand firm on it, and and, and it is what it is. Don't get upset with people when they show you who they are. Don't get upset at it. Stop getting mad at it when when it's not aligning to what you want them to be. And I think that's the problem. A lot of people want them, they get upset at other people because they are not being who they're not showing them who they want them to be instead of accepting them for who they are. And I'm telling you, you will free yourself. That's why I said don't waste time trying to see somebody other than who they show you you are. And it's not always a bad thing, you know, but when somebody is there a saying when somebody show you who they are, believe them. Go ahead on and believe them. Don't try to change it. Don't try to flip it. Just believe them. And as soon as you accept them as that, the easier it is to deal with them, the easier it is to make a decision if you choose to keep them in your life or you choose to separate and go your separate ways. And it's OK. There's nothing wrong with that. But we got to get to that space where, I, OK, I see I see who you're showing me are, who you are. And I'm not trying to make you something that I know that you are showing me that you're not. I'm just not doing that. I refuse to do that. 
I refuse to try to force somebody to be something that they're not. And 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 I know, uh, and and I can speak to this, but I know um, a lot of us uh, get upset because we get upset at other people because we invest so much time trying to make them become what we want them to be. And we ignore all of the clear signs right in our face of who they showing us who they are. And we want what's best, right? And, and we may be in a long-term relationship. We may be, you know, uh, dealing with a part, a, a business partner. We may be dealing with a coworker or, or, or somebody on our job. And these people consistently show us who they are. But we just, oh, oh you know, I, I know they can do better and I see their potential. No, you better stop trying to waste time waiting on people potential and see them, judge them based off the reality of who they show you you are. Because just because you have the potential, that doesn't mean that you're going to even be close to tap into it. Because you got to, the person got to be willing to put the work in to, to release their potential. They got to be willing to do it. You want it, ain't going ain't gonna to force them to do that. You want it, it will not force them to do that. And then what we do is uh, uh, we <laughs> many of us will find ourselves mad and frustrated at other people because they are not becoming what we want them to be or how they're not meeting the, the, the standard of who we want them to be. We got an idea. We got a vision of what we want them to be. And we're mad at them because they are being showing us who they are. But we are upset because they're not being who we want them to be. And that problem is you. That's why I said don't waste time trying to see somebody other than who they're showing you are. Once they show them you are, believe them. And a lot of times if we do that, we'll realize we'll realize that it's not always a bad thing. The One of the funniest things with that is most of the same people that get upset at other people not being what they want them to be will be the same ones that refuse to be what somebody else wants them to be. And they do that. And them people, the same people that will just get upset, get mad, want to try to control other people, want to try to control how they move. But the reality is they are the same ones that refusing to, to change or be what other people want them to be. That's that. That is the God on truth. What's going on, mama? How you doing? What's going on? Uh, said good evening. But I mean, that's that's it. Don't waste time. I mean, a lot of times we do waste time. We waste time um, because. And, and, and one of the things this too, and I know uh, this can be something, but this can be something that, that, that what frustrates a lot of people. But a lot of times when we meet people, our expectations are tied to people, the mask that people have on, the mask that people put on. So when we when we meet them, they're showing us their best foot forward or they're trying to be who we who they think we want them to be so that they, so that they can impress us or we can impress them so that they can stay in our lives or or we can establish that relationship or whatever but when the honeymoon wears off and the truth wears off and you see them for who they are that's when you need to accept that right now when you're talking about accept that accepting that is not saying that you're settling and i don't want people to think that i'm talking about settling but accepting is oh that's who they are Okay, I got it. That's who that's how they operate right there. I got it. I can see that. Now you have to make a decision. Am I willing? Is that something I'm willing to work with, accept, or whatever? Because some things for some people, they just gonna be who they are. No matter how much you want them to change, they will just be who they are. And you can get upset, that can be on you, but the reality is that those people will continue to be who they are, regardless of how you look at it, they will be who they are. And then the other thing is, you know, one of the other things you have to think about is just because somebody is something today and they may not change what, how we get upset with them because they're not changing to who we want them to be or what we think they should be today, right? You always have to look at the fact that we are, as people, people grow, people change. I'm not the same person I was last year. I'm definitely not the same person I was three to five years ago or 10 years ago. My mindset, how I, how I see things, how I view things, it changed due to my life experiences, right? But what I mean by don't waste your time trying to see someone, don't spend time now trying to force somebody or try to see them differently than who they are. Look, I can see the best in you and still, and still I can see the best in you, but still see you and recognize you, acknowledge you for who you are right now. 
And that's what I'm speaking towards. A lot of us, we just want to see the best in them and we want them to be there. But we, once we accept them, it's, it will be easier to love them to get to where they need to be. It would be easier to do that. But we have to accept it. We got to get to that space. And, and that's what I want to talk about tonight. That is just what I wanted to talk about tonight on this episode is just don't waste time. Don't waste time. A lot of us, a lot of us, you know, so many of us, so many of us waste time trying to force people to be what we want them to be. And that's where we, a lot of us, a lot of our frustration come in. Instead of just, okay, boom, I see you for who you are. And the reality is, once you see people for who they are, once you evaluate people for who they are, that's when you can truly offer them help if they need it. That's when you can truly meet them where they at. But you can't meet them where they at when you in your mind or have an idea of what you want them to be because they will never be your idea when it doesn't originate from them. You can give them all the clues, you can give them all the mentorship, you can give them all the advice, but it really has to come from them. They have to be the ones ready and willing to step up and see themselves for who they are and then decide if they want to put in the work to change. Because just because they see themselves that one way, that doesn't mean to them it's something wrong. And the reality is it may not be wrong. It just may be what your preference is. And your preference is your preference. Your preference is your preference. Your preference is not them. It's not the world. And, 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 and it, the world doesn't evolve, revolve around you. So there's nothing wrong. Like I said, there's nothing wrong. There is, there is nothing wrong with seeking the best or, or looking for the best in people. I'm one myself that I always look for the best in people. But what I've learned in my life is it's so much easier to not waste my time trying to see people for what I want them to be instead of seeing them and accepting them for the reality of who they are. And once you accept people for the reality of who they are, it helps you. It becomes so easy, right? It becomes so easy to, to know how to navigate and deal with them. Now you know exactly how they are. Now you see how they operate. Now you're not sitting here being mad, hoping for the best or hoping them to be something that they ain't or something that they're not willing to become. So once you accept it, you see it. Now I'm not wasting my time, energy and effort trying to pour into it or trying to invest into whatever that may be, whatever relationship they may be. I'm not trying to invest into it because now I know that's who they are and I can just wipe my hands and move on or go by my business. Uh, Ms. Jaredine said, is that, is that a, is that the long hand and spoon method? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, 100% it is. I mean, and, and there's no if, ands, buts about it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, one of the key things to, uh, uh, benefits of learning to accept people, not wasting your time and learning to accept people for who they are. One of the key benefits to that is you yourself you will learn to say, hey, I get so much time back. And you will learn that, hey, you know who to invest in and who to give access to. And you'll just let that go. You will let them people go. You will you will have a peace. You're not upset about certain things. You will see them for who they are. And you will, you will be like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not investing time into that because I see how that person is. Or I don't have to give those people access to me. Or I can give them, treat them with the, what you said, the long hand and spoon method and keep those people at bay because I know I see who they are and I can operate like that. I can operate like that to protect my peace, to protect me and go on about my business. And I don't, and there ain't no ill will towards anybody. It's just the fact, it's just the, the matter of fact. And I'm good with that. I'm good with that. There's no, no, um, there's no um, ill will towards that. And, you know, it is what it is. So don't waste your time trying to see someone other than who they show you they are. And once they show you who they show you they are, accept them for that. And then you can learn. You can build from that. You can build on that. You, but you know where they are. And so many times we stay, you know, so many times we stay so stuck on trying to wanting people to be what we want them to be instead of accepting them for who they are. And that's something that we need to do. That's something we need to look at. Hey, man, and I thank you guys so much for rocking with your boy. I appreciate you all. Uh, you guys have a great and wonderful week. Look forward to seeing you guys again. God bless.